Hello everyone and welcome to something of everything. In this video we will talk about viewport locking. In AutoCAD locking the viewport is a useful feature to prevent the accidental changes to the view or scale of a specific viewport. To lock the viewport there are four basic ways. This is a viewport that you have created. If we are selecting it we can see that it is a lock or unlock viewport option. It locks the scale of the viewport so that the changes doesn't happen. If I am not locking it, what happens? Let us see. If I am double clicking in the double clicking in the viewport and scrolling up or down, we will zoom in, zoom out and change the scale of the detail. So to prevent the same, we have to lock the viewport. Let us see four different ways to see how the viewport can be locked. The first and foremost and most easiest way is to select the viewport and click on this lock button. As, the, as you can see the lock button has turned yellow and locked means the viewport has been locked. Let us verify the same. Double click in the viewport and if you scroll in scroll down now it will not change the details scale. This is how you can do the viewport locking. The second method is to select the viewport go to right click and in the viewport display locked just press yes and the viewport will be locked the third option is to select the viewport you can go to property and you can see the display lock to no and just change it to yes the fourth one is to select the viewport or doesn't select if you or do not select the viewport just go to the layout menu tab and click on end paren and select as paren that is viewport locking and select the object whose viewport needs to be locked and you can see the viewport has been locked and a bonus option that you can use which I always use is to type command MV it shows us on off feed shed plot lock object just write lock <coughs> on and in select object just type all all the viewports will be selected 